G'day folks, AI blogging tools, what is going on with those? Why are more people using them than ever before? Should we be using them? What are we testing out at the moment? So AI is a reality of business. We use lots of tools to streamline our business and make life easier, help us to achieve more with less time, do things better, all that stuff. People use tools for all sorts of things and AI is now starting to help us automate other things. With SEO and Google, the reality is that a lot of people are using AI tools to help them make content. And the question mark, I guess now is, is this stuff any good? Is it useful? Should you use it? Blah, blah, blah. The reality is most SEO people or bloggers or content creators are using AI, whether it's idea generation, whether that's for social media posts, whether that is for blog articles that they then edit. There's lots of reasons and ways people are using it. I'm just going to get myself out of the way. Now, let's just use an example of what we're using and why we're using Blaze. Now, let's say you've got a new site like this. Marketers List is something that we're building and you're at the point of, okay, I've built the site. I now need to produce content to get this thing ranking on Google and I want to do it fast. So that's where an AI tool can help you produce content at a speedy rate. So the example might be, right, I've got to, um, these five keywords I want to go well for. I just can't produce, I can't sit down and write article after article slow form because that's going to take me months and months. So what a lot of people are doing is using AI to produce the, the nuts and bolts of the article. And then they're coming back and they are editing that thing themselves. Okay, so that's where a lot of people are at. They're using AI tools to create the outline or even the headers, the H1, H2, H3 headers, and then they are writing it or editing it themselves. So we've tested quite a few. Over the last six months, myself and the team have tested probably 10 different AI tools from a variety of price points, a variety of reasons, and we've settled on Blaze at the moment. Now, the reason is, well, there's a few reasons, actually. One of the first is I found their landing page, their home page, and check it out. It's pretty freaking cool. Like the design of this thing is it's one of the coolest websites I've seen for a very long time. Anyone I know in branding who sees this site loses their mind because it's just really, really cool. So I thought, OK, these guys have invested some serious time and thought into their brand. It's just a really cool website and look at the, just cool. So it's really cool. So I found it. It stood out really quickly. I tested a few other competitors to these guys quite heavily. Uh, the articles were okay, uh, as they usually are. Look, with article creation using AI, the reality is you will often have to, if it's a very comparison type of article, and I've got a sample coming up, you'll often have to tweak it a fair bit. If it's a step-by-step -step process type of article, they can be really accurate and really good. So regardless, you'll always have to get in there and edit it to some extent. If this cuts down your workflow from three days of work to three hours of work, that's massive, right? I wouldn't recommend you just use AI to create your entire article because we don't need more of the same stuff out there. But if it can reduce your workflow down, that's what a lot of agencies and SEO and content creators are doing at the moment. So I'm going to walk you through an example. So going back to Marketers List, a new project we're working on, we need some content. Now, my research shows me that people are often looking at this, Wix versus Squarespace, because they want to build a website. So I've gone to Blaze, I've, I've logged in, I've signed up, I've paid the money, which I've actually done. Okay, so this is the first step of your journey for Blaze. You'll go and sign up. You get started for free, use a free trial, can't miss it. Nice call to action there. When you come to uh, the next step, which is to create something, you'll see this. So you go to app.blaze.ai and you'll be here. Okay, so you can see all this cool stuff. You can do brand voices and there's so much you can do. They've got all these training videos and content, which is awesome. Chatbots, of course. But you'll get to this point, you go, okay, I'm going to create something. All right, so I'll normally go here, blogs. You might decide to write an email sequence. You might to decide to create some social posts, whatever. But I'll normally go to blogs and then I'll get this, which is do I want to do a press release, just outlines, maybe a case study, maybe a brief, maybe some ideas. This is really useful. The blog ideas 
is super useful because it's drawing upon what it can see online of what's out there at the moment, what are people searching for. But I'll use blog post. I'll click on there. And what I've done is I've simply gone in and, and created uh, on that blog post, you'll type in here what you want to type about, what your topic is, you'll name it. You can do informational, which is what I'll normally do. Talk about the audience so that they know who you want to write this for. The length, short, medium, long. Here you can include your keywords so that it's written with those keywords in mind. You've got different brand voices you can create, much like any other AI tool. You can train it up to speak in a certain voice. When people log on, sign up, use it all on the same day, sometimes they might not be impressed by this element until they've trained it up. So you do have to be patient. And I love this. You can include images. Okay, so when you've gone through all of that, it'll generate the title and the headers for you. Once you OK that, then it will generate the article for you. So we've done that for Wix versus Squarespace, which platform is best for your small business. So if I like this, I'll simply copy the whole thing, dump it into a Google document, and then I'll start to work on it. I'll add links, I'll space it out, I'll rewrite certain sections. One article I created last week did have some repetitive stuff, so I deleted that and recreated that. The images are, are there, which is awesome, but it'll have your H1, H2, H3 structure sorted out pretty well. And it'll give you an article that obviously you need to know what you're talking about. So you can read this and go, yeah, this is pretty much on point. And if it's on point, you can copy it, pop it straight onto your website, include the images or not. These are all okay to use for copyright purposes. And you've just created something pretty quickly that's pretty good. Now, if you wanted to write an article just for SEO purposes to add some weight to your site, you could probably get through this process under the hour. If you wanted to create an article that was really going to rank the top of Google for a particular search, it's probably going to take you a bit more time than that. And you'll need to make it stand out a bit more. But I'm pretty happy with what it's produced for this particular topic. And I'm actually going to work on this now after this video for about half an hour to just edit it, get it right, add the links I want to add. When I pop it on the marketers list website, I'll put some internal links from this article to other articles and then from other articles back to this one so that Google picks it up a bit more quickly. And then I will probably pop that onto a Google business profile as a post as well so that it gets indexed a little bit quicker. But that's sort of after the fact. I guess the point of this article, this video, was to show you that there's lots of AI tools. It's worth testing them. You know, we've gone through months of testing and we've settled on Blaze. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement. However, the link in the description is an affiliate link. So these guys don't know I'm doing this video. But if you click on that link, there is a little payment to us if you go down the paid route. However, at this point in time, we're simply saying... This is what we're using. We really like it and it's phenomenally easy to use. So I'd suggest you give it a go because, you know, in this day and age, we're all looking to increase our efficiency, increase our quality. And I believe that if you use tools well, including AI tools, you can streamline and improve as long as you really think it through. Because at the end of the day, it's got to produce quality for your business. If it's not producing quality, then you have to rethink what you're doing. Anyway, that's the video. I hope that's helpful. I'd love to hear more about how you're using AI in your business. Is it helpful? Is it not? Do you need some more advice about other things? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.